Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Yeah, I know that this game hasn't been uploaded for quite a bit, but then again, I've also kind of been live streaming on the side. I'm trying to have myself a little bit of a balance here, but uh, neither, neither here or there. Mainly, it's okay, it's actually two reasons. One, I was a little bit hesitant on actually entering the final dungeon because I thought I wouldn't really be prepared for it. And two, well, I've also been live streaming, so yeah, that basically also has something to do with it. Since I'm live streaming off at a specific time, I also am trying to actually get back my sleep pattern or a good sleep schedule so I can actually do a bit of recording for like major LPs. Jack 3 will be continuing after Paper Mario 1000 Year Door is finished, mainly because of the fact that I need to actually be able to just focus on like one project at a time and not focus on multiple ones because if I focus on multiple ones I'll kind of burn myself out and that will be bad in terms of me so let's actually finish up Paper Mario Thousand Year Door I am not really fully well prepared but I did do a practice run of this dungeon for the most part and I managed to defeat one boss I didn't defeat the other bosses but I should be relatively Okay, for the most part, I'm not going to say 100%. Hey, if I die, I die. Then, all honesty, I'm kind of hoping I don't die, but we'll see what happens. What well, kept you, Mario? Well, it doesn't matter now. I don't think they're in the vicinity anymore. They must have found another way to get through the door. Oh, how could they actually get through the door, considering the fact that they kind of need all the crystal stars to begin with? But hey, what am I to go ahead and judge, considering the dar- the the, the dar? The door is relatively A-OK. -okay. But anyways, we've collected all seven Chaos Emeralds, or all seven Crystal Stars for that matter, and now we can activate the door of the Thousand Year Door. And oh, they're so majestic. Look at the colors. I love it so much. We got the Diamond, Emerald, Topaz, Ruby, whatever those other two colors were. I kind of completely forget. Actually, wait. That's Diamond. What is that one? Oh wait, no. One of them is is a, I think, garnet, a ruby. I don't know. Anyways, ends up unlocking all the doors. This is actually pretty cool. I like this. So yeah, I already know what's in store in this dungeon already. Aside from there's some annoying monsters, but they they are all suitable to showstopper. So yeah, I'm gonna be spamming that a lot. But since we're also still tattling enemies at this point, we might as well continuously keep tattling, tattling them. As I stated before, I ain't tattling any of the enemies in the 100 printed trials. Speaking of the 100 printed trials, that dungeon is only going to be done only on the live stream. Because in all fairness, though, I'm not going to lie to you. Going through that dungeon is not as interesting as you think. I mean, it's cool to look at. And cool to progress through, but hey, that's the only time I'm actually gonna do it. Because in live stream format is better than actually doing it in a let's play format because you're not gonna have anything else to say. But, anyways, it is time for the final chapter of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Bring it home! Chapter 8! The title of the game! No, I'm actually serious. It really says The Thousand Year Door. It's really, really weird. But, anyways. Let us start the final dungeon of the game. Welcome to the Palace of Shadows. This dungeon is actually not as bad as Bowser's dungeon, but the enemies is what basically makes it a bit worse. And this theme that's playing is actually a bit of a mix of the underground theme from the original Super Mario Brothers, but eh, eh, I mean, you guys, I, there's your trivia there from music references. <laughs> But anyways, welcome to the Palace of Shadows, where your home and your stay shall be a very glorious one. For right now, we got our first enemy off the bat. Uh -huh, off the bat. It's actually some um, new variant colors of the swoopers. We, haven't, we actually have not seen these guys since chapter four. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. We're going to get rid of one of them right off the bat because I don't want to be dealing with all of them. Because, seriously, the enemies in this area are pretty bad. But you will be leveling up quite a bit. So, let's go ahead and just tattle them up. Get their little info, and then I'll be cutting off the rest of the fight. These are Swoopolas, an, air, an airborne, blood-sucking, bat-like thing. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, defense is 0. 
As if losing HP wasn't bad enough, this little creep adds yours to its own. How totally, totally gross. Don't let it bite me. Oh, well, I no promises there. Like, seriously, I have no promises. And yes, at this point in the LP, we still have yet to gotten, um, what is it? The poison mushroom gimmick? I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm, I'm not trying to be bad, or I'm not trying to friggin' make it a little bit interesting. Wait a minute, Goombella. How come you can do three and only I can do two? I am... Do I have a badge on that's actually preventing me from doing two, from doing three? Because I think I should be doing three at this point. Hold on, give me a minute. Give me a second. Do I have a badge that's actually preventing me from actually doing that um sort of damage? Uh, no, no. Damage does. Decrease damage by one with a guard command. Ah, uh, no, I don't think that's it. Because that just decreases the damage if I end up guarding. So that's not it. It's not the feeling fine. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, drops. Oh, okay. This is what's preventing me from doing um damage. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of that. Anyways, let me just kill the rest of these monsters. And I'm just gonna cut the rest of this. All right. So now all the little wonderful bats are gone. All right. Now you probably are wondering what are the point of coins if there's no real shop in this area. I think that there is a shop in this area. I'm not entirely sure, but I do know for a fact that. Collecting coins is actually still pretty important mainly because you're kind of gonna need it later on in the game and by later on I mean um After you've beaten the game because like I said before funny enough the pit of 100 trials is actually a post game thing But you don't have to really treat it as a post game thing You can make it as a post game thing and I'm gonna have to tell you Goombas to stop doing that Stop trying to throw rocks at me because I am not about your life anyways we got ourselves the final, I, well actually no, this is not actually the final variant of the dry bones. This is just a normal dry bone. It's a former Koopa whose spirit animates into bones. It's a freaky, HP is 8, attack is 5, its defense is 2. When its HP goes down to 0, it collapses into a pile, but it eventually rises again. Fire and explosives will put a permanent end to getting back up though. A dry bones will sometimes build friends and feel, yeah, this is actually kind of the reason as to why you kind of want to get rid of these guys very quickly like. Oh, so many of those. And they're already beginning to build a part of the things. Ah, oh, that's, uh, that's not good. Also, their bones hurt. But then again, um, that's normal for a lot of things in this game. Alright, let's see. I do not feel like doing any of that. So, of course, I'm going to use... I will showcase Supernova later. I'm not going to showcase it now because Supernova is actually... It takes up a lot of star power, but it's also one of the most powerful star abilities in the game i will say like it's literally this game's nuke i know you thought showstopper was this game's nuke nah man showstopper only works on occasionally it doesn't work all the time it's not gonna be your end all be all thing that you're gonna be using to actually kill everything it would be utilized a lot though by me because i'm a punk and i don't feel like dealing with any of these enemies all right so I am not familiar with what I actually leveled up last, so to go ahead and not be a scrub, I'm going to level up this. And then I'm going to level up the badge. I don't really know what I leveled up last. I really should look at it in the last video, but it's fine. Because by the time you get to the final boss, you should already have like, um, you should probably level up, I think, a total of three times by that point. I say a total of three. And I'm so glad that they kind of nerf the dry bones a bit because they don't throw multiples. I don't like this section here because this section actually sucks because this, uh, this section is terrible. And there are like two sections of this where you have to deal with bullet bills. But you know what? Uh, I don't like bullet bills. Bullet bills sucks. Ah, oh, okay. That's why I couldn't kill them with one hit. That actually explains a lot. Hmm. Be sure to take care of the, um, get rid of the HP drain badge, because that ends up dropping your, um, your attack by one. And according to me being a DPS, you rather have more attack strength and more health, for the most part. Sometimes you kind of do need more attack to actually, I mean, more health to survive, but that's besides the point. Anyways, its attack is high, but its HP is low, so take it out before it takes you out. Then again, if you focus on these guys, you'll never win. Smack that bill, BB bill buster. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and kill this uh, wonderful guy. Okay, I should have used the hammer. Please miss. Yes! Thank God. <laughs> That's like, hey, please miss. 
All right, so I'm going to cut until we get to the um, Bullet Bill Buster, so BRB. All right, so we finally made it to the Bullet Bill Busters. And these are basically the Bullet Bill Busters. They're all gold and shiny as ever. Wow, that was pathetic, but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> How much health these guys have? And hopefully we can actually kill them with Showstopper. Told you, that's going to be my go-to for everything. Uh, the fires bombshell bills. Um, uh, that's obvious. Sorry about the abbreviation. Max HP is 10, defense is 4, it's real, real tough. Yeah, hard hit, uh, hard to hurt these guys. Thing is, if you don't take it out, it'll, yeah, it'll keep, basically, it'll end up shooting golden gun bullets at you. Oh, honestly, it's actually kind of cool when you really think about it. Ooh, golden eye reference. Nobody would get that. Nobody would. That's okay. I get it. But then again, I'm supposed to get it. I'm making references of things that make no sense. Anyways, let's go ahead and showstopper these guys. Now, when I was actually um, recording the, well, not recording this, when I was going through this before, I sucked at the showstopper. Like, I was messing up at the most simplest commands. Like, and of course, one of you don't die. Why am I not even surprised? Okay, fine, whatever's. And you're up in the air, which is not a good thing. So, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and not use that, because I'm actually gonna save that for a bit. Uh, uh, I guess I could just hit you with a hammer and do some damage to you right now, so. Ooh, two. That's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna do nothing for me. Oh, good. That's perfect. Okay, that's not perfect. I love that it always happens. All right, now, there's actually something that you can actually do with this smoke. Um, we're gonna summon Flurry. We're actually gonna use Gale Force. Uh, press A at the right, oh, okay, I know how to do this. If you end up using Flurry, she can actually get rid of the, um, the, uh, the smoke, which is really a good tactic for the most part. I don't really recommend doing it a lot though because it's not gonna be really a go-to strategy but it is a go-to strategy in the pit of 100 trials if you're actually trying to you know do something with that anyways flurry booyah thank god <laughs> sorry that's never gonna happen to me <laughs> i know you guys really really want me to get the poison mushrooms and apparently it's like it's like a, it's a um, tradition that you're supposed to get it when you're fighting bosses. Well, honestly, I have yet to got it. I have yet to get it in bosses, like at all. I don't know why. I'm not doing anything to cheat the game. I'm telling you that right now, because I'm just playing the game like a normal damn person. Also, I have to remember that I am in 60 minutes in, and I have to remember that um, this is a let's play and not a live stream. <laughs> Because I'm trying to remember, it's like, wait a minute, I'm not doing, um, I'm not doing a live stream, so I do have to remember to end these episodes at some point, so I don't go on for too long. That's actually a pointless curse, because the boss is not even hitting me. Flurry, take out that bullet bill, so I don't actually have him in the way, because for some reason, I don't know why you can't, I don't know why you can't, um, hammer the enemy across from you, but whatever's... Yep, I'm never gonna get that. You know, it's a good thing that um one of them, one of the slot machines is mandatory. That fight took too long. It actually should not have taken that long. But you want to know something? That's fine, cause I don't really care. If the showstopper actually worked, I would have used it, but that's okay. But anyways, um, before we, okay, this area here sucks, mainly because of that. Well, first off, I did that twice. I really need to stop doing that okay let's switch let's try to yank there we go all nothing okay i'm actually gonna use this badge now i know what you're thinking using the all or nothing badge is a bad thing not necessarily because the thing is what i like about the all or nothing badge is that well first off it is kind of really an all or nothing badge kind of sort of deal um how much does it need to to use uh where is it where the hell is it oh here it is it's four uh what do i have to get rid of i don't want to get rid of the damage dodge because i do still need defense i don't want to get real feeling fine 
I mean, I might end up putting um, back. You know what? I'm going to take off feeling fine since there's no enemies that actually do any damage to me for the most part. Now, the reason as to why I want to go ahead and put on the all for nothing, because what this badge actually does is that if you can do the command correctly, you don't really have to worry about um, the enemies. All right. You're a seven. The only problem is you have to be sure to hit it because as you saw right there, I didn't hit it. It didn't do any damage. So it's one of those badges that you have to basically master. Now this room is pretty easy to navigate through. It's not that bad. Um, since they're basically just one super bad, I can just be able to just take care of them and talk at the same time. So it's just basically like the, the platforms, um, spikes keep coming out from random locations. But not really random locations, actually pretty, it's not really random at all, you know, honestly. I don't know why I said random. It's, it's not random. It's, it's set. If you kind of can memorize, you can actually go ahead and go through this area very quickly. But I recommend going slowly through this area so that way you don't have to actually deal with that kind of crap. And I'm gonna get okay. Sadly, all or nothing does not work with your partners. I kind of wish it did though, because but then again, if it did, that would be very broken. And that's the end of that room. Booyah! All right. Okay, so I'm actually gonna call it a part here because we've been going on for a bit 19 minutes. So in the next episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, we'll be continuing on through the Palace of Shadows. What lies beyond the Palace of Shadows? Well. A lot of traps and headaches, but other than that, I've been CCX and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Laters!